The question so many have been asking is, how do you run against Donald Trump, in particular, Republicans? Trump and some of his supporters already getting down into the mud against Ron DeSantis, and this is before the Florida governor's even announced he's running. A pro-Trump PAC releasing an ad capitalizing on the bizarre rumor that Ron DeSantis apparently <laughs> likes to eat pudding with his fingers. Ron DeSantis loves sticking his fingers where they don't belong. And we're not just talking about pudding. Tell Ron DeSantis to keep his pudding fingers off our money. Oh, and somebody get this man a spoon. Make America Great Again, Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. <laughs> Co commentator and political analyst Van Jones says the only way for DeSantis to fight back is to go low. He appeared on Stephen Colbert's animated series, Tuning Out the News, alongside some animated talking heads on his suggested strategy for DeSantis. You go after Donald Trump by going after things he really cares about. He's a vain man. You talk about his looks. You talk about uh, his hair. You talk about his family. You, you do stuff that's going to throw him off his game. Unfortunately, that is not in the Ron DeSantis playbook. Hard to take that seriously by then seeing four uh, animated <laughs> characters here. Back with As Katie opposed Tr to the pudding ad. Yeah, that's true. Katie Trigaski, John Fugelsang, and Juliet Huddy. Uh, Juliet, what do you make of Van Jones's theory? Well, initially when I read that and when I heard the soundbite, I thought, what is, what's wrong with him? But then this is actually, if you think about it, it is truly brilliant strategizing, political strategizing, because... We've seen what happens when Donald Trump goes out there and throws the red meat at his base. They love it. They ate the whole thing up. His spewing the vitriol and, and the, you know, the divisiveness and the, the nasty comments and, you know, insulting people's wives and husbands and this and that. The right loved it. I mean, his base well, loved it. Did they not? They love it, but you can't beat Trump at his own game. That's, no, I, that's his game. I think they could his shake him up a little comedy bit. Comedy more is like it, I, I think. It, I don't think Ron DeSantis has the personality to go up Correct. against Trump. Could Let's put problem, it that way. Yeah. It, it, He's popular in Florida, but I don't think he can. I agree with you. It I reminds think. me of Marco Rubio, right? Remember this? This is Marco Rubio trying to shift oh. strategy and going after Donald oh, yeah. Trump. Let's listen. Oh. He's always calling me Little Marco. And I'll admit, the guy, he's taller than me, he's like 6'2", which is why I don't understand why his hands are the size of someone who's 5'2". Have you seen his hands? They're like this. And you know what they say about men with small hands? <laughs> I mean, I thought that was actually great. Thanks for reminding us that the San, uh, that uh, Marco did that joke before Trump did, uh, yeah. attacking his manhood. <laughs> I think Van Jones gives excellent advice. I think Ron DeSantis should try as hard as he can to do what worked so well for Marco and Jeb Bush <laughs> and Ted Cruz and Chris Christie. Look, the GOP establishment has a great problem. They all want Trump gone from Mitch McConnell on down, but they want to keep the cult. So they've got to try to knock this guy off while not alienating his very, very loyal base. Ron DeSantis' best bet is either to hope indictments knock him out, health knocks him out, or he's a young guy. He may just decide to sit on his war chest until 2028. Yeah. We can't beat him. Not, so not a Trump's fair, guy. If Chris right. Christie couldn't beat him, there's no way. Well, now Chris beat. Christie's thinking that he has suddenly a newfound shot at this. But, I mean, the, right. pro the, the, the problem... <laughs> for, people love Donald, yeah. for people who love Chris well, Christie... Let me tell you all, every time we have DeSantis supporters on the show, the answer that I get is... It hasn't even started yet. Oh, it's I mean, started. He hasn't even announced he's running yet. You guys are prematurely counting out Ron DeSantis. What are you doing here? What do you make of I it? had bigger hopes. I actually was thinking maybe he'd be stronger, but I haven't seen any evidence of it yet. Of DeSantis. We, of DeSantis. We thought he was going to be yeah. W. Bush, and he was Rick Perry. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have to be. He doesn't have to be a Donald Trump clone to still throw the you know the guttural stuff at Donald Trump and be successful at it. He just has to yeah. be. He has to have. But good writers. Right, right, but <laughs> you, you basically have, have to right, have good have, handlers. But you have to have the personality to do it. Yeah, right? but you know, you if it doesn't fit with him, it'll come across but that's kind why, of uncomfortable. Yeah, that's why certain people, that's why certain actors, when they go places, they have to have writers, you know, kind of curating what they say because they're they're really not funny in real life. They're you know they're actors and they they do a great job with comedy. But that's what he needs. He needs he needs handlers. Well, someone well, Marco, someone wrote that line for Marco Rubio. Cool. I, I will bet Clearly. you, that, you know, that somebody wrote that, right? And he's, and by the way, his delivery wasn't even bad. No, it wasn't. He actually delivered it in a pretty yeah. authentic way. Yeah. yeah. It just, it just didn't work. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, DeSantis needs to not fight back. I hate to say it, but really, he, well, he doesn't want to alienate the MAGA crew. He can't do that. Thank you for watching. 
Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.